Hey guys, what is up? Rattling Ghost. Um, and uh, like in my previous video that I restored my um, Aston Martin DB4, my Gorgi, I'm actually in this one going to restore my MGB MG GT. This is a very nice model, it doesn't have tires. The windscreen is in really good condition, the window itself. So I've already drilled out the uh, posts. So let's get into it. Let's open it from this side. So this is a very interesting fit. The base is very nice still. Not a lot of oxidation on it. A little bit there on the bottom side, on the inside itself, but it still looks good. And not much to worry about. What I like about this MG is that the wheel and the axles actually just comes off. You do not have to remove it. Like the Hot Wheels ones that's basically built in or with wire screws. Then we have the uh, second one as well. It's still in very good condition. From there on out we basically take out basically the to keep everything in place it's very dirty i think this just needs a nice clean up and it will look much much better than what it does for the interior itself there's a lot of parts in this you can actually see the interior is a nice bluish color this will also just be cleaned up washed a little bit with some dishwashing liquid and a toothbrush but all in all the doors are still in very good condition so i'm quite happy how the model is at this stage for the doors you can actually see the inside if you go in you can actually see that the doors are kept together there's something that fell out there something fell out there i don't know what it is we won't throw it away then uh, for the interior itself we've basically got this little cover there and that is like the engine compartment itself and then uh, we also have the uh, steering column very nice addition to this uh, model actually and uh, it's kept in place with a little pin there as well like that and then we have the windscreen which is in damn near condition, near mint condition, which I'm very glad about. I can just polish this up a bit, rubbing compound, and then we can put that back into the model car itself. So you see the, the doors actually has got like a hinge. It can actually just slide it in there, and uh, then you can unhinge the door as well. So basically that's the dismantling of it. There's some very nice uh, details on the inside of the door as well. I must say I'm quite liking that. And that is probably, I'll restore it to this same red color that it was. So yeah, that's it. I don't know exactly where this part came off, but uh, we'll get into it. For now, I'm going to strip the paint off this one. I actually want to try and leave the MGB on there. I don't know if I can do that, otherwise I'll just print one again. And there's just the back which is also connected with a little spring plate there. So guys, for the windscreen, I'm just added some rubbing compound to it. And uh, let's see if this will clean it up like it came out of a factory. So it is starting to look good. That's much better. Get some of that uh, rubbing compound and just stick it on there. Okay guys, so there is a bit of a difference. Going to try and heat the inside as well. It's actually like a golden color 
that comes through all of this. I don't know if this car was meant to be gold or they sprayed it gold first and then they did it in the red. So uh, as soon as I get deeper into the car as well, I'll just have a look and I'll see what uh, that all entails. At this stage I know it was a red car and I think they only brought it out in the red. So I'll be leaving it as that. This robin compound actually uh, makes a lot of mess, but when you clear it off your hands, it actually looks very really good underneath all of this. Let's just hit the inside there as well. Just polish that up as well. It's actually good from this side. wipe and then uh, let's see if she looks better than what she has to or used to still a lot of a little bit of residue on it I don't know exactly from what is it but uh, I am gonna still polish this and uh, I'll probably use some toothpaste as well some of my patrons and some of my other guys actually said I must use some toothpaste just to get some cracks out and just to clean clean it up a little bit but uh, for now, I must admit, it doesn't look very bad. You can actually see the really nice condition still. A lot of shine to it. Like I say, I have that slight little bit of golden color in there. I don't know what it's from, but I'll clear that up and I'll bring you back to show you the final. So guys, welcome back. <coughs> After cleaning up a little bit, um, just actually uh, polish the back windscreen as well that just clips out you can see there's one clip there on the top there and uh, I've actually just uh, cleared up the uh, front windshield as well you can actually see there if you look through it you can actually see a lot of detail you can just get the clay out of there you can see there looks quite nice and it's in very good condition it's the first car that I'm restoring that actually has a windscreen that isn't broken so I don't have to get replacement parts thumbs up for that for the body I haven't got into stripping the paint yet I've actually removed the headlights as you can see there the headlights are I've got a little bag of goodies here so the headlights just comes in like a plastic cover and then you can see the nice looking crystal in there very nice it came out very easy I just want to pack that all away in a little container for the doors I have to still strip the paint on them as well the uh, tires and wheels I'm just gonna basically uh, or the tire or the rims they are quite nasty so I have to shave them down a little bit like I said for the boot I actually want to keep that MGB MG GT on the back there. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Maybe uh, just stick something over it so that it doesn't go missing. I don't know if I can print the part for that. Hopefully I can. There is one piece that actually broke off and as you can see there's actually two pieces broken off. One day, one day. I got the one. The other one is missing in action. I don't know where it is. Just clean that up a little bit as well. This is basically the like the engine compartment bit and uh, all cleaned up. For the interior, I just basically, you can actually see that it's a nice blue, light bluish color. Your seats just clips in there or your seat backs actually looks very good. Just washed it a little bit with some uh, dishwashing liquid and that one we can just clip in as well. And there you have it actually came out looking pretty good for the dashboard just uh, washed it down with some sunlight liquid and then the nicest part about it all and I didn't see it when I deassembled the car was is the steering now this is actual copper and uh, I must admit it's a detail that probably not many of us would know but on this gorgie which is the uh, MG 
B the GT, the patent number is 999217. They actually have a copper steering wheel. I just buffed it down a little bit, put my, uh, my Dremel on it with a buffing, buffing wheel and some polish, metal polish or copper polish. And I must admit, it looks quite good. So this goes through a little slot basically in the dashboard let me just make sure that I get it right now and there you can actually see it with the blue in the background the nice copper the nice copper steering wheel this is absolutely epic I didn't know about this and I probably think you guys as well um, so yeah for the inside of the model basically everything is cleaned up now I need to put all my stuff away. It's going to take me a, a little bit of time. I need to fix that as well. And then I need to clean up my body, get all the paint off. And then uh, we'll get into uh, spray painting this. So as per normal, I use this uh, Smith & Company paint stripper. And uh, hopefully... Does some work on this uh, paint that's on here. So I don't know exactly what model car this is. I'll actually find out. But uh, it actually seems like it used to be red. And all the sites that I went to go and visit actually says that it was red. So it seems like someone tried to paint over it. Um, you know, this goldenish color. Which is quite unheard of. Um... I don't know if they just took a paintbrush to it and maybe just paint it, but uh, we will just be restoring it to the original, what it used to be. This uh, paint strip, it does take a while, but uh, hopefully this paint isn't as tough as what it looks. So we'll just leave it for a little bit and then uh, Hopefully we'll see the magic happen. So guys, after a couple of minutes, got my uh, soft wire brush here, it's a copper wire brush, and you can actually see, so the underside, so someone did actually paint this in that uh, horrible gold color, because the undercarriage is actually uh, like a grayish color which we already still store to that so that comes off quite easily from the base plate and I'm quite happy about the base plate condition doesn't look very bad in bad condition as well so that is for it now for this one ah, it actually does come off I thought it's gonna come off much more difficult than what I expected. I'm try and clean inside. Okay, so it does come off quite easy. I was actually concerned at one stage because I applied it, but nothing came off. But if you apply the wire brush to it, it actually comes off quite easy. So let me quickly go and clean this up. I'm just going to take it through a wash as well and then I'll come and show you if we've got any potential damage to the casting itself that we need to fix so guys welcome back <coughs> after I've uh, stripped all the paint from the uh, MG GT Rover or the MG GT 
the bodywork is in very very good condition you can actually feel there's no pit marks no one has actually tried to uh, put some uh, sanding paper to it it is in immaculate condition it needs a little bit of cleanup i'll probably polish it and uh, i'll probably try and get some of the oxidation out um, but uh, it's a very good car and it's in a very very good condition for the year it is so for the base plate as well you, you should have actually seen in one of the previous uh, moments there was some gold coloring under here and i think that is with one of the owners of this vehicle that actually tried to paint it goldish you can still see there's a couple of charges over here that i'll probably just remove with my little pick here but uh all in all, the base looks quite good. I'll just clean it up a little bit as well with a Dremel. Go over it with a um, like a like a rough sanding or a, a, not a rough sand, but a and then uh, I'll just polish it, and then we can almost get to assembly. Like I said, I'm still gonna have to try and find this color. I haven't done the doors yet. I'll probably still get into the doors. I'll take this color, and then this color will basically. Uh, I'll go and look for it and it must be the same as this for original for uh, original restoration as what I'm doing on this it's gonna look absolutely immaculate so guys for now I've shown you the in, the inside there's like plenty of parts I'm very into this model it's a very decent model and it's in a very great condition the base plate the body even the windshield is in immaculate condition so I am quite into it it's the first car that I'm restoring that I've actually got intact windscreens or windows so I'm quite chuffed about that and uh, I'll probably see you in the next this video will probably come out before December and then uh, we'll finish this baby just after or not after before December before Christmas which is the 25th of December for all you guys out there that is having Christmas Happy Christmas, and uh, I'll see you after Christmas with the completion of this uh, MG, MGB. Cheers, guys.